This tutorial is brought to you by webnewbie.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple web page using layers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm in an HTML document right now. I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on draw AP div up here under the layout section. Uh, and that will let me create my layers. Uh, and I'm going to draw the header out here and we'll resize this header to be 900 by 100 and we can choose any background color we want or you can insert an image uh, whichever you'd like to do but to keep it short I'm just going to insert some random colors for this website uh, then we're going to go left is 0 top is 0 now it's perfectly squared up on the top left there uh, then we're going to draw our navigation bar down the side here. I'll make the height 500, the width 200, left is 0, top is 100, and we'll make this background color. Just pick one randomly. It doesn't really matter. And now we're going to... too far... We're going to make room for our content here, for the center, this is where all your main content will go. And again, we'll make our left 200, top is 100, width, we'll make 700, height 500. And this color, whatever, it doesn't matter. And finally, we'll make our footer down for the bottom here and I'll place that I'm just gonna guess here on this one to save time and we'll use that color right there so here we have it we've got our main layout for our web page we can if we want to go up here um, place in some some text I'll make the text 60 in font and your home page and if you want to this get this is your navigation right here you can do home you can do uh, about us contact us whatever you'd like to put there and just put a bunch of gibberish down in here and if you want to center it here you can Put your copyright in uh, 2008yoursite.com and we'll just actually put that down towards the bottom. Okay, so now we've got some writing on here, we have some content, we've got all our main layouts. Now you're saying, well, what if I want to center this layer? layered website and you know in a frame in frames uh, as in table if you're using tables with frames and stuff you can just click on the center and it'll automatically center for you both layers uh, they automatically stay where you place them you can't move them and that's where they are that's where they're going to show up now if I were to move this and try and center it on my screen here um, let's actually preview this in a browser really quick I'm going to preview it in Firefox uh, we'll save our changes save them as on title view that's fine it's going to open up and there it is it's over on the left hand side now if I wanted to move this and let's say I was trying to center this and you know that looks pretty center to me right there but when I preview it in a browser it may show up anywhere if I'm gonna change the size of this notice how it changes with it so the size of your monitor will change where the location of this is now in order to change that what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna make it so this is centered and it'll always stay center now the way to do that with layers is you come over here to your CSS styles and you click on this button right here new CSS rule after you click on new CSS rule you go to tag and what we're going to change is the body so we're going to type in body in lowercase letters here that's what we're changing the body of the page and we'll click OK now the only thing you need to do here is go to block and click on text align and click center 
apply okay now everything changed in here to center you can actually go back and change that back now you don't need that center but in order for this to work you need to click center under block um, for this to work and after you do that now we gotta get into some code here so we're gonna click on the code view and we're gonna find our very first body tag which is this one right here you'll know it's the very first one because all your divs are up here your layers are up here and then here's the head of your page and this is your that's the very first body and we want to go underneath that body tag and I'm going to give it some room here so that we have a little bit of space to work with. Now after you do that, you want to go to Insert, click on Layout Objects, select Div Tag, and now we're going to create a new CSS style. I'm going to click an Advanced, and I'm going to make this, I'm going to call it the Master. You can call it anything you want, but I, like, I always like to call it Master because this is the Master CSS style that's going to create your centered web page. And I'll click OK. Now this screen will pop up here, and I will click on Box and under box my width now we may remember the width that we made our web page is 900 so I'll put 900 there because that's what we want if you were to change the width of your web page at any time when it was already centered you'd need to go into your master uh, rule definition here and change the width on there otherwise it won't be centered it's got to be the exact size of your web page so ours is 900 we'll put it there we're gonna unclick ch same for all under margin uh, top we're gonna make zero because we want it at the top of the page right we're going to make auto, bottom we're going to make zero, left we're going to make auto. Now that kind of makes sense, you know, because the top is zero, bottom is zero, so that means it's going to stay where it's at. But then right and left is automatic. It's going to automatically place it in the center of the page. And now we're going to go to positioning. And usually a lot of the times we use absolute positioning with layers because that means it stays absolutely where you place it. But in this instance, we're going to put relative. Now, after we click relative, we're going to make sure our width is 900 here. Placement is top is zero, bottom is left, or I'm sorry, left is zero. So that way it stays at the top and it stays left in the center, though. And now we're going to click apply. Now, after we click apply and click OK there, we're just going to, we just created a div here. Now, we need to delete the content ID for the master because the content that's going to go in there is all of our content. So now that we deleted that, we're going to take the closing div and cut it. Now we're going to take that to the bottom, and in between the body again, we're going to close everything here inside the master div. So I'm going to place the div right there. And now everything is enclosed in the master div, all of our stuff for our web page. Usually what I like to do is I like to leave an HTML comment here saying, this is your div. So in case you change something later on after it's been centered, uh, usually what happens after you put a new layer on there after, after it's been centered, it tries to go right in here in between this div and the body. And then when it goes online, it's not going to be centered because it's outside this div right here. So this always tells you where your div is located so that way you can take this stuff and you can drag it inside of the div to make it centered. And that's what you'll need to do if you ever add anything to your website afterwards. Now we're going to go to design mode and look it's all centered now now if I preview it in the Explorer browser and there we go it's centered doesn't matter what size your monitor is it is always going to be centered and that is how you create a simple web page and center it with layers and if you like you saw here you can go to webnewbie.com and watch more of our tutorials uh, if you don't know what layers are we do have a beginner layers uh, tutorial to where it teaches you all about layers. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing down here in the properties panel, we've got a tutorial on that as well. Go check out webnewbie.com and we'll see you next time.